Imagine watching a real-time x-ray video of your joints in motion. That's Digital Motion X-ray, or DMX. DMX is a game-changer. It helps us see the mechanics of your body in ways never before possible and identify subtle issues that might be missed with static images. Unfortunately, there are some misconceptions out there about DMX we would like to clear up for you. Misconception number one, DMX is high radiation imaging. It's understandable. We've all been told to minimize our exposure to radiation. However, DMX technology was designed to be a low radiation fluoroscopic X-ray machine. Unlike video fluoroscopy, DMX uses a very low dose of radiation. DMX exposes patients to a dose comparable to a seven view traditional X-ray procedure. Misconception. Number two, results from a DMX scan are not reliable. With some doctors even claiming it is inconclusive, arbitrary or of no diagnostic benefit. Most of the time, these statements come from IMEs, independent medical examiners. In our encounters with IMEs, we've found many are well-intentioned but unfamiliar with DMX, often confusing it with video fluoroscopy. They believe these misconceptions because video fluoroscopy is high radiation and blurs when people move producing limited benefits. The claim that DMX is of no diagnostic benefit is a myth and a tactic to try and dismiss DMX evidence. We have successfully countered such arguments in litigation settings multiple times. We have clearly stated in court that DMX is just like an X-ray, but instead of one X-ray frame, we have approximately 2,700 frames for about the same amount of radiation. This allows us to capture the full range of motion of the cervical spine. DMX is only of no diagnostic benefit if X-rays are no longer considered beneficial either. In our experience, insurance companies who bring in IMEs with little information on DMX may hope that patients, providers or attorneys won't challenge their assertion but don't believe these blanket statements. Misconception number three, DMX does not impact settlement amounts. Nationwide, DMX has played a pivotal role in securing substantial settlements. In numerous cases, DMX has stood as the sole evidence demonstrating a genuine permanent injury according to AMA guidelines. While insurance companies are aware of this, they may rely on you or your attorney's lack of information to avoid a higher payout. Regardless of the insurance company's IME credentials, this argument should be straightforward in court given established precedents across the country. The truth is, DMX is the gold standard for evaluating ligament instability, CCI or AAI. Misconception number four, absence of regulations. Some people believe because DMX is a relatively new technology, it's not regulated. This is simply not true. DMX, like all medical imaging devices, is subject to rigorous regulations. Federal regulations indicate that the acceptable exposure reading is 4.60 Roentgen per minute. DMX is 1.99 Roentgen per minute, well below the federal regulation. Additionally, individual states in the US may have their own licensing and safety requirements. For instance, Arizona has specific regulations governing the use of DMX technology. At AZDMX, only trained and licensed professionals operate the equipment and our facilities adhere to strict quality control measures imposed by Arizona Department of Health Services. Misconception. Number five, absence of scientific studies. Although there are minimal studies done on digital motion X-ray so far, there are still a few studies and publications, including a 10-year instability study naming DMX as the gold standard for instability diagnostics. Visit dmxray1.com for more studies. Misconception number six, that DMX is incompatible imaging leading to inaccurate measurements. Most critics here reference DICOM. The problem with DICOM is that it does not support true video. It only offers a simulated video more akin to a slideshow. In other words, a full motion DMX video does not work with DICOM formatting, which makes some doctors hesitant to trust DMX measurements. However, our reading doctors are trained to measure DMX videos and have specific calibrated software to ensure measurements are as precise as possible. Every DMX of the upper cervical we perform at AZDMX includes a mensuration report from our doctors. DMX can be easily shared with your healthcare provider. Doctors experiencing formatting issues with their EHR systems not allowing video storage will need to reference your DMX video outside of their EHR system and upload just your PDF mensuration report. DMX is not a replacement for traditional X-rays, MRIs or CT scans. 
DMX is an essential complementary tool that enhances our diagnostic capabilities and should be used whenever instability is a possibility. DMX is one of the only tools that will capture full weight-bearing motion highlighting your instability. By debunking the myths and misconceptions surrounding DMX, we can embrace its potential to improve patient care. If you're experiencing upper cervical pain or discomfort due to instability, don't hesitate to ask us if DMX is right for you. We are here to help answer any questions you, your doctor or attorney may have about DMX.